I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Um, I was just sitting around and I was like, let me just go ahead and do this video because I have a lot of stuff to uh, kind of swatch for you, some palettes that are new. Um, yeah, so if you follow my Instagram, you know that there are a bunch of things, but I have that I have to show you and I definitely just wanted to do that in case you are all on the lookout. Real Techniques, uh, they have a new collection. I believe they call it, what is it, Bold Golds, Bold something, yeah. But anyway, they're really pretty. They have a silver finish, rose gold finish, gold finish brushes. And I was able to get these from Ulta and something very weird happened and one of you commented on Instagram because I put up a picture the first day these went on sale on Ulta. All Real, Real Techniques brushes went on sale, buy one, get one half off. I I was so excited. I was like, I'm not going to get those brushes, the new ones, until they have a buy one, get one half off sale. And I couldn't believe it was so fast. Well, I went ahead and put in my order. That's how I got these. I also, um, one of the brushes that I wanted, um, it's like a flat contour brush, flat top contour brush wasn't uh, in stock. But I got these five brushes and then I got an extra powder brush from the basic line because that's buy one, get one half off, still is. These are no longer showing up on the online site, uh, buy one, get one half off. And it was supposed to be good to like the 24th of this month, so I think they went back on their word. And one of you guys noticed that and commented on my Instagram post about buying these. Um, yeah, so that one wasn't available, so I'll have to get that flat like top contour brush uh, later, but these were available and I was so super excited because I wanted to test these out for you. You must want her little camera shot. You want your little camera shot, baby? Um, she's rubbing against my back. This is number, the Real Techniques brush number 201. And these are pra packaged, and I should have brought it, huge plastic containers, hard plastic containers, which scare me because I think I'm going to cut myself. And um, they're hard to actually get out of the, uh, the center where they're kind of placed in the packaging. So I went ahead and opened these before. But again, this is the 201 brush. Really, really pretty. The um, first thing that I noticed with these is I was interested. This feels a little different. I don't know what this is made out of. Very, very interesting. The 200. And this just looks like a really pretty fluffy brush. And I will say these are super soft. Uh, are you scratching the couch, Penny Lope? Oh my goodness, girl. This is just so gorgeous and so soft. This is the 100 brush. And ooh. Wow, I'm still adjusting to my new camera. <laughs> my big old viewfinder looks crazy, but look how soft that is. So gorgeous. Um, this is the 101, and this is a different angle. Look at this. It's like a, a triangle. See that? It's like a triangle. Let me put it in the middle of the screen. Really crazy. So yeah, that's the 101 brush. Wow futuristic. Um, the next one is the, this is the only rose colored brush I have, a uh, rose, rose gold actually one. So the number 300, the other one that I'm missing, the contour brush is uh, the same rose gold finish. So that is this one right here. Really, really pretty, right? Oh, so, so exciting. So, so exciting. All right, let's get into some palettes. Uh, the first one that I have for you, I was so excited about. This is the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow Palette. Now, a while ago, uh, NARS came out with these dual intensity shadows. This packaging is really nice. It's mirrored. And they're $29 each, so I didn't get any. You know, and I know, you know, I get a lot of stuff. But I was like, $29 a shadow, and they're wet, dry shadows. Uh, I just didn't do it. I was like, no. And I'm so glad I had uh, took a stand because this is a $79 palette, and you get eight shades. Now, I forget. I think I looked at this on the Temptalia site because uh, she put out the review before it was released. It's on NARS Cosmetics. Uh, that's where I got it right now, and I think it's uh, due to arrive at Sephora on... February 1st. So look out for it at Sephora if you want to buy it from there. These are a little bit smaller. I think the regular size, the $29 ones, I think I read are 0 0.05 and these are 0 0.03 each. Let me look at the back. Um, yeah, 0 0.03 each. And I think the full size are 0 0.05 each and they're $29. So I went ahead and got this. I do forget what I was saying earlier is I forget you get a little brush. What uh, I do remember I don't remember from the Temptalia site is some of these are from the regular line that are already out and I think is there one or two one maybe I think that is limited edition in this set look at these and I will swatch them for you dry 
so so gorgeous i love it 79 dollars versus 8 times 29. <laughs> if you'd like me to swatch them wet for you i can do that on my blog just go ahead and comment below if that would be helpful i don't know i'm hoping there isn't going to be a huge difference okay this is that first row so i'm gonna go from uh this end uh with the color names all right at the very bottom uh, let me get my hand situated. At the very bottom, we have, oh gosh, let me get the palette situated, right? At the very bottom, we have Europa, then Himalaya. I wanted to buy this one individually. Let me get my hand right. Himalaya, I wanted to buy that one individually. And Ursa Major is the third from the bottom. And the very top one is Subra. That's the other one. I wanted to buy Himalaya and Subra uh, individually. Uh, and I'm so glad I didn't, and I got them in a palette. So really, really nice colors. They swatched very, very easily. And that's, again, dry swatches. So that's pretty good for dry swatches, I think. That second row right here, and again, I'm going to go from uh, this color across to the deepest color, just like I did last time. All right, so here's my hand. There's my hand. So the bottom color is Andromeda. That's a super, super bright whitish color. I don't know how often I'll use that. Maybe the inner corner. Then there's, oh my gosh, I can't even say that. Lysithia? I don't know. L-Y-S-I-T-E-R-T-H-E-A. Okay. And then is this Glove or Geove? I don't know if that's an I or an L. Glove or Geove? That's the beautiful blue. That is eye-catching, that blue. And then the black is called, wow, where do they get these names? Psychorax? Um, yeah, okay, that's what that is. So yeah, really, really pretty. The black and blue are really intriguing me. I love the way they look. I mean, they swatch beautifully, especially the second from the last one swatch really, really smoothly. So I'm excited to use this. I will let you know how it goes. Beautiful palette from NARS, and I love the idea of getting it for cheaper than $29 a shadow. I was so excited about this. I thought I would have to wait till it released on the 15th, uh, but I saw it at Kohl's yesterday. Shocking. I put it up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to know what I got, you know, right around the time I got it, because uh, I usually put that information up. So my Kohl's had it, and my Kohl's never has Lorac makeup, and why I was so, I was just amazed, and I was just, there. she put it up. The girl was she had just put it up. She was opening up boxes. The Kohl's work are really nice. They're really nice at my Kohl's. And um, she only had six of them. So I was like, wow, I snatched this up and there are five left. And you get a mini Lorac, um, Lorac behind the scenes eye primer, which I love. It's like my second favorite eye primer of all time. I love the NARS first though. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And I see there's Penny Lope shenanigans going on behind me. And the palette itself just looks really, really beautiful. I'll go ahead and hold it up and let you have a long gander at it before I swatch it. This is 42 bucks. I told you that NARS was uh, 79, I believe. Yeah. Okay, with Lorac shadows, this is something I go back and forth with people a lot in the comments um, on past Lorac uh, shadow videos. Lorac shadows tend to be powdery. I can tell from doing this first row that this is powdery as well. I want to show you what I mean by powdery. Uh, this center color, Unpredictable, is the gold, and it is the definition of what I mean by powdery if you've never had a Lorac palette. See that powder there? There's a lot of powder. So what I tend to do when I use these shadows, even I love them. I love them. I don't care. Uh, I tap off my eyeshadow brush before I go in. So that's the first row right there. And so on the bottom, we have Undressed. It's a very uh, white, you know, kind of, I guess, something people would use uh, right under their brow. Uh, it's that type of a color. I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. But anyway, it's a matte. Uninhibited is right above that second from the bottom. Unpredictable is that chalky kind of gold uh, that I, I talked about. And above that is Undeniable, and that is a matte shade, as well as Unedited is the deep matte shade. So these two here are matte, and this is matte, and these two right here are shimmery. So, so far so good, but again, remember about that powderiness. Okay, I can make an early prediction after my swatches for you. Uh, the second row is the row that makes it all worth it. Uh, these sh shadows on the second row all swatched like butter. Almost like a different palette. They swatched so differently. Again, I haven't used this on my eye, but I gotta tell you, like night and day. Very, very interesting. No fallout. No 
powderiness that I was describing before, unlike this first row altogether. Very weird. Look at these colors. These are freaking gorgeous. Okay, the bottom color is unlocked, swatched as smooth as silk, a very, very light gold. It is not matte. Hopefully that's showing up in the viewfinder. It almost looks matte to me in the pan, but it's not. So it's, it's a satiny color. Above that, second before the bottom is unlimited, very, very pretty gold, kind of a burnished gold. Then uh, is Unleash. That is the Money Maker Gold, Super Gold. Uh, swatched beautifully and very, very thick. Uh, Unwind is above that, and that's a matte shade, a pretty, pretty brown. And Unafraid is just gorgeous. It's a deep color. It's satiny. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. People are going to have fun with that one. So yeah, overall, I feel like the first row and the second row uh, don't have a lot in common as far as swatching, but we'll see what they do on the eye. So that's the uh, Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. My store doesn't carry Lorac in the bomb, my Kohl's, and which really sucks because I would be there getting them all the time, you know, because you can use your Kohl's cast towards that stuff. But um, yeah, they didn't have that in the store, so I ordered this online. It, it is the uh, Balm's Nude Dude Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now I have the other uh, nude palette. This is volume two. So I have the other one. Um, gosh, and I can't even remember the name. I'm really doing pretty pitiful today. And I'll give you a look at it before I start swatching. So there it is, a really, really pretty palette. Um, I love the other one. The other one has this one color in it that is like nothing else I have, and I, I love it. Um, I'm going to do the first row of six colors for you. Be right back in a sec while this hilarity goes on behind me. Okay, that's the first row, and that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to start uh, with the color at this end. Ooh, wrong end. I'm going to start with the lightest color at this end, uh, which is called Fearless. So Fearless is at the very, very bottom. It's a really pretty um, matte uh, color for under the brow, um, you know, to highlight. Then there's Flawless. That's above that. That's a matte color as well, and it's much deeper, much, much more like something I would use. Um, then there's Firm. And Firm is the first uh, shimmery color, and it's right there. Very nice color. Uh, above that is Flirty. Now, Flirty is very interesting to me because it swatches, like if you're familiar with Laura Mercier, uh, Laura Mercier colors, uh, this swatches like African Violet. I don't know if it's coming across that way in the viewfinder, but on my finger, it looks like African Violet from Laura Mercier. Um, Friendly is above that. It's at the very top. Uh, Friendly is a really nice deep plum shade. Really, really pretty. It's a deep plum matte. And right on the side there is Fierce. That's kind of your silver gunmetal shade, which definitely reminds me of uh, over here, which definitely reminds me of something that you'd see in an Urban Decay uh, Naked palette. You know, that gun metal, metal color there. It might be a little lighter. Uh, but yeah, I am really flirty. Is It looks like African Violet. It's got this purple gold shift that African Violet has from her, uh, from Laura Mercier. So I will go ahead and do the second row of colors and get right back to you just a sec. I'll start with the lightest color and go from that end Woo! I mean, this end to that end. <laughs> I'm still getting used to my camera. I have to stop saying that, but it's true. All right, at the very bottom, we've got Fabulous, and that is a really pretty color. In the pan, it looks like it's a satin, I mean, uh, matte, but it's shimmery, uh, so that's Fabulous. Above that is Faithful. Faithful and Fit, the color above that, those two swatched incredibly smooth. So this color and this color swatched incredibly smooth, and they're both really nice colors, I think. Um, feisty above that is a matte kind of a dusty pink. Really pretty swatching though. Uh, above that is Funny. Funny is a satin and I think my favorite color in the whole palette. It is just a beautiful kind of a burgundyish brownish kind of a satin shade. My, I think it's my favorite. Uh, over on the side there is Fine. It's a kind of a shimmery brown that swatch. It was very hard to swatch so I hope it performs much better uh, when I put it on my brush and uh, use it on my eye. But overall, really happy with the colors in this palette and I uh, can't wait to use it. I know nobody needs another nude palette, nobody, including me, but doesn't mean I don't want another one. 
All right, last but not least, a lot of you asked about this when I put it up on uh, my Instagram. This is the new uh, Kat Von D shade, um, excuse me, shade and light contour palette. And I love Kat Von D. I do. I do, I do. And this struck me. I didn't think I was going to be getting this. I, I showed you a couple weeks ago the Laura Mercier palette, and I showed you even before that the Anna, uh, Anastasia contour palette that I got um, for my skin tone, not the one you see like everywhere at Sephora and everything like that. They have it on the Anastasia site where you can order it if you have a deeper skin tone, that kind of a thing. I ordered that one and I showed you that probably in November. Uh, the Laura Mercier is a cream, um, you know, so it isn't a powder, uh, like the Anastasia and this. <laughs> That's the back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a video if you all would like comparing all three. I thought that would be a good video to do because a lot of people told me they're trying to decide, you know, which contour palette they need. And we're having so many come out lately. Um, so I can definitely do that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Uh, but this is, I didn't think I would be getting it. I meant to hold this up because I didn't know if it would cover my skin tone. But the last section was like, I was like, okay, maybe this is for me. Uh, so I will show you what it looks like. And a brush comes with this. I ordered this and didn't get the brush. I kind of want to feel the brush at Sephora in person. It has it isn't at my Sephora yet. Well, it might be. This was a couple weeks ago when I ordered it. I think I ordered this two weeks ago. Uh, but I'm gonna feel the brush. It's a two-sided Kat Von D brush. I think I'm gonna feel that in person because I'm kind of picky about brushes now and I want them to be soft. I'm sure it will be, but I would just want to make sure I like it before I go ahead and order it. But this is the palette, and this covers a bunch of different skin tones. So I'm pretty happy with that and I thought I'd go ahead and swatch it for you in this video uh, I'll read you the color names because I can definitely tell what they are So I will go ahead and do the first section and we'll talk about that. I'll go section by section And I'll, I'll swatch the first section now All right, this is the first section uh, the colors the highlight color is called lucid and the uh, bot the deeper color is called somber and I just want to show you these against my skin. Now, I have, for reference, I'm a MAC NC50. So this isn't some the section that I will use. Uh, I will try to use the highlight and see what happens. What the heck? But uh, yeah, so definitely uh, this color right here. Let me just. I don't. I can't really see in the viewfinder. But this right here is the bronzing color, and this is the highlight color. So yeah, I can't really see my my. Still getting used to this bad boy. All right, I'm not gonna say that anymore, I swear to God. What's going on back there, guys? I hear y'all making noise. All right, so we did this sec bleh, this section. This is the section that I'm gonna show you. This is the section, the middle, is what I'm gonna show you right now. So there it is right there. And again, the bottom color is the highlight color. It's the highlight, oh gosh, let me turn my phone off. It's the highlight color and it's called Lyric. Lyric is the highlight, and the uh, bronzy color is called Shadow Play. So Shadow Play is uh, the deeper shade, and it's right there on top. All right, we're getting into the last section. The last section is called uh, Levitation. The light color is called Levitation, and the uh, bronzing color is called Subconscious. So yeah. Le levitation and subconscious and that's what I'm going to be playing with most likely uh, yeah so just so you know in swatching all of these in case you are wondering and I'm hoping it comes across in the screen these aren't shimmery they aren't shimmery so I am calling them highlights I don't want you to be upset with me I, I think of them as highlights but it does say shade and light contour palette so maybe just I'm calling should call them light colors uh, yeah so anyway, that is the whole palette swatched. In case you are wondering, um, I hope this is helpful to everybody, even though uh, for people that are deep of a deeper skin tone um, that asked me about this, I, I definitely wanted to show this to you so you know, or have a kind of, kind of gauge where you fit. But the packaging is gorgeous. And I've taken up enough of your time. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, definitely check me out on my blog. Um, I'm starting a new series on fragrances, and I started with the first one that I got uh, yesterday and I've ordered a ton more and I would love to talk to you about fragrances for those of you guys out there that are into that I would love some recommendations so join me on my blog for that and my puppy is just beautiful he'll always be my puppy I will talk to you guys later bye bye
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.